people, uh, all rehearsals being used as human props. Um, yeah, so I can say 28 years I've been around. I've been involved in theater for over 35 years. Uh, it's been a, a pretty long journey, it feels. Wholesome Lounge started, first of all, um, as an idea for one of my master's classes that I was doing at Leeds University. I think I was doing something on um, world festivals and building national theater. Uh, and I had to come up with an idea that can, uh, could have represented my country in um, one of those scenarios. And we thought it was important to, to do a text around our cultural form which is uh, just around 150 years of, of large of activity in Ireland. The rough seas raising and the captain drilling, man on the board. And the chief nurse carrying two and four, with him smelling socks to steady the brother. Through Gali and Pasha, through Ram Shop and Tenetry, the What I like about the, the Farrells, I didn't know that was a... <laughs> the I Farrells. <laughs> the the theatre stakeholders of the Caribbean. Um, is, the Guardian. Is, is, the, is, the, is the yin and yang of them, you know? If I can't get the answer from, from the father, I will go to God and I will get I will get something that I can grow myself in. And sometimes conceptually where she might not be willing to take those kind of risks and Farrell is willing to push it. So the two of them feed off and face each other really well. Um, Winston is very much, I would say, a vibes man. He goes off of a vibe, he's very much the artist, he thinks big, he doesn't really concern himself with, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but he doesn't consider it to think, um, think about process so much. Very pragmatic. Yes, she yes. wants you to stick to her process. She wants you to figure out. So I think they connect in that way where they complement each other. Mm -hmm. right. I would say almost perfectly. And I, I kind of watch Afri grow up and flower into this excellent technical director. So it's always a pleasure to see things like that. Um, Farrell is someone who I have had a lot of respect for. I've known him since again I was in school. Um, he would often come to our mm -hmm. drama club at Queens College and do workshops with us. And it's interesting, you know, that intergenerational thing, because then you come up and come out into the, the arena, and they are there. And I think for the young ones just below us, it's sort of like that as well. You know, we go in, we train them, we encourage them up. And then one day, they're there on stage with us, eyeballing us, you know? So um, it really is a pleasure to work with the Farrells. So we do it at the The upstairs entrance is all the strongest entrance. Yes. Yeah. All of the yes, yeah. When I finished at secondary school, I took a year off to do nothing, and then I say, okay, I'm going to do theater arts at UCC, and I did. And then from there on, I ended up doing stage management for Jimmy. Yeah, a number of projects that I had, and I pulled it. From there. From there on, I was just working backstage. Bring up the private collection. It is like great. Wait, come on, great. Look, Melvin, you, you are taking this thing too seriously. You need to relax. Let me pour a glass of the other side of this live chip business during this transition period, of course. And how you? You look after your ailing father. And stop with it before family. Developing a national theater using the cultural form was really was what was exciting to me. Um, and uh, I think we have been able to represent not just the landship as an institution, but to use that landship as a metaphor for 
great looking at Barbados as a small island state. Um, we were also excited by the cast and their response to the work and, and, and one of our records saying that um, the cast was and continues to be instrumental in terms of making this project happen. Uh, it continues to be a work in progress, so we feel forward to see what can be developed and how we can move it along the way. her Ayo, we know not to get involved in it, you know, her name is Afi Ayo, and we all call her Afi. When he says Ayo, we know that that's something special, just stay out of it. And then we hear her daddy, daddy, we, we know what things mean, we learn well enough now, yes, yeah, so about communication between them. We know they're committed to what they're doing, um, they both have a very long vision for, for the arts of the theater in Barbados, uh, like us. They understand the challenges of working in the arts in the Caribbean or really anywhere in the world because it's the same everywhere you go, I've discovered. Um, and that commitment, that understanding that we share, um, I think that helps us to stick together and to stick through whatever, you know, whatever we face as, as performers and as artists.